Leadership is not about titles, positions or flowcharts. It is about one life influencing another. Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Book Review Special. I'm your show host Mitali Uhuri and today I will be reviewing an amazing book, The Art of an Organizational Leader by Raymond Friedman. So before we jump in, let's get to know a bit about the author behind this incredible book. Raymond Friedman, known as a cyber jedi, is an expert in organizational culture, leadership, and cyber warfare. With a master of accountancy in forensics and auditing, and nearing the completion of his PhD in public policy and national security, Raymond combines academic rigor with real world experience. He is a global speaker and instructor, drawing from his diverse background as a Los Angeles native, elite team USA triathlete and successful businessman. Raymond has authored numerous cybersecurity programs with his latest, the Certified Organizational Leader (COL) certification that was launched in April 2024. All righty then. Now that we have learned a bit about our all-rounder author, let's dive into the book review. So grab a pen and a notepad because you have a lot of notes to take in. Settle into your favorite spot and let's get started. This book provides valuable insights for anyone aspiring to excel in a leadership role. Friedman outlines the essential skills, traits and practices needed to build and maintain a successful organization. While self-awareness is emphasized as the foundation for effective leadership, leaders who understand their strengths, weakness, values and motivations are better equipped to make sound decisions and foster strong team relationships. Emotional intelligence the ability to navigate complex social dynamics and empathize with team members is another crucial aspect explored in the book leaders with high emotional intelligence can cultivate a positive and trusting work environment where team members feel psychologically safe this book underscores the importance of effective communication for leaders active listening clear articulation of vision and the ability to provide constructive feedback are essential skills however friedman emphasizes that authenticity transparency and consistency are equally important in building trust through communication so how do leaders foster growth well great leaders empower their teams this involves creating a culture that encourages autonomy accountability and continuous learning Friedman advocates for delegating tasks, providing resources, and offering support to enable team members to develop their skills and reach their full potential. While conflict is inevitable in any workplace, the book equips leaders with the tools to manage conflict effectively. It emphasizes addressing issues promptly, finding solutions that benefit the organization as a whole. and maintaining open communication to build trust leaders need to be strategic thinkers don't you think friedman highlights the importance of adopting a long term perspective anticipating challenges and developing innovative solutions to ensure the organization's success in a rapidly changing environment leaders set the tone for the organizations friedman emphasizes the importance of leading by example This means demonstrating the behaviors and values that leaders expect from their teams. It involves embracing a growth mindset, being receptive to feedback, and taking ownership of mistakes. So let us revisit some key takeaways from the art of an organizational leader. Number 1, effective leadership focuses on enabling others to succeed, not on personal glorification. Number 2, emotional intelligence is essential for understanding your team and yourself. Number 3, authentic and transparent communication builds trust. Number 4, empowering your team fosters innovation and growth. Number 5, effective conflict resolution maintains a positive work environment. Number 6, 
strategic thinking is crucial for long-term success. And number seven, leading by example inspires and builds trust within your team. The book also dives into the concept of transformational leadership, emphasizing its power to propel organizations to new heights. Here are some key strategies Raymond suggests for effective transformational leadership. Leaders need a clear and inspiring vision for the organization. This vision should be authentic, well articulated and communicated transparently. Leaders should embody this vision in their actions and ensure company policies align with it. Now being a genuine leader is crucial. This means aligning your actions with your words and core values. It also involves being open to feedback and acknowledging your vulnerabilities. Leaders who are authentic build trust and foster a culture of transparency. So how leaders lead through change? Well, change is inevitable and obstacles will arise. The book equips leaders with strategies to navigate these challenges. Effective communication, adaptability, strategic planning, resource management and collaboration are key to overcoming obstacles and adapting to changing landscapes. The book also highlights the importance of leaders showing vulnerability. While this might seem counterintuitive, but it can be a powerful tool for building trust. To illustrate this point, the book references real life examples like Satya Nadella, who is credited with transforming Microsoft's culture by emphasizing empathy and transparency, which can be seen as one of the forms of vulnerability. Another example that was included in this book was of Apollo 13. The Apollo 13 crew under extreme pressure openly communicated challenges and mistakes which ultimately led to a successful outcome and likely strengthened their bonds between them. Another key takeaway is the importance of celebrating small wins. This helps build momentum and keeps teams motivated when facing challenges. The book suggests ways to celebrate small wins such as transparent communication, recognition and appreciation, setting milestones, team celebrations, and reflecting on progress. These are all practical strategies that any leader can implement to build momentum and keep their team motivated. So if you're looking to become a more effective leader, I highly recommend The Art of an Organizational Leader by Raymond Friedman. So on a scale of one to five, this book gets five stars for sure. You can find the link of the book in the episode description. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Self Talk Show. Remember, leadership isn't about having all the answers. It's about empowering others, fostering a positive work environment, and leading by example. Leaders who are self-aware, emotionally intelligent, and authentic can build trust and inspire their teams to achieve great things. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to subscribe to Self Talk Show for more book reviews, insightful discussions and practical tips and strategies to assist you in your self-improvement journey. And don't forget to leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Your feedback helps us improve and grow. This is Mitali Uhuri signing off. Thank you for tuning in.